Do you need an LLC for ATM machine business? Yes. It is a good idea to start an LLC for an ATM business because there is a moderate amount of risk involved with operating an ATM business. The limited liability company has in recent years become the most popular legal structure for small businesses, seeking personal liability protection and flexibility. The exact requirements vary slightly from state to state, but setting up an LLC is a relatively simple process that can usually be done in one to four hours depending on the complexity of your organizational structure. Even as digital payments become more common, there are still times when people require cash. ATM owners can take advantage of this by strategically placing ATMs where they might be needed. One unique advantage of an ATM business is that it is easily scalable. If you want, you can start with a small number of ATMs to keep startup costs low and then add more as you can afford to. However, ATM businesses face the risk of product liability, trademark infringement, and financial data breaches. For instance, a frustrated ATM user decides to shake a machine and tilts it over on himself. He sustains injuries and takes legal action against your company to cover the cost of those injuries. Have it in mind that any business that carries such risk needs to be legally separated from its owner. This separation is known as limited liability protection. Limited liability protects a business owner's personal assets, example, car, house, and savings, in the event that a business is sued or defaults on a debt. Also, reports have it that an average ATM can make around $500 per month. An ATM business that earns a steady profit can benefit from the flexible tax options that an LLC offers. LLC owners can choose between pass-through taxation and the S-Corporation, S-Corp, tax classification. Pass-through taxation are known to be ideal for businesses with less profit and an S-Corp is best for businesses that need to carry substantial profit over from year to year. Now, let me explain all the steps required to register your LLC for your ATM business. Step 1. Choose a state to register your LLC. You should incorporate your LLC in states where you want to start your ATM machine business. In specific, business-friendly states like Delaware or Nevada can be a good place to start. You can register your LLC in these states easily even if you live in another country. Step 2. Choose a name for your LLC. You'll need to create an original name for your LLC. Generally, you should always do some research in your chosen state to avoid picking a name that already exists. Along with that, you'll need to include a designator for an LLC, normally by adding suffixes like LLC or limited liability company. For example, Money Isle, LLC or Ace Management, limited liability company. Many states usually reserve the business name for two months and no one else can grab your name in that period. Step 3. Appoint a registered agent. In general, you must have a registered agent for your LLC. Simply put, a registered agent is a person, individual or company, who receives legal papers and has responsibility for filing for your ATM business. Your registered agent must have a physical address in the state where you incorporate your LLC. Step 4. Create your LLC's operating agreement. Even though most states don't require it, all LLCs with two or more members should have an operating agreement. It is a document that outlines the operation and the agreements between the owners of your LLC. Step 5. File Article of Incorporation with Secretary of State. After that, you must file the Certificate of Formation with your Secretary of State's Business Entities, Division, and the Office of the Judge of Probate to officially incorporate a new domestic limited liability company. The state filing cost for LLCs is between $100 to $750 and it depends from state to state. The filing fee for foreign LLCs is usually a bit more than domestic LLCs. A domestic LLC means that you are already a resident of the state you live in and want to build a business in that state. Foreign LLC, on the other hand, is for people living outside a U.S. state but wanting to start a business or a franchise of their business in that specific state. With that said, most businesses would be applying for a domestic LLC. You can file the Certificate of Formation online or by mailing it to the Secretary of State. 
expect the LLC certification process to take approximately two weeks. This is three to four days for the probate judge and ten days for the Secretary of State. Step 6. Obtain an EIN. An EIN or employer identification number is a federal tax ID issued by the IRS. They use your EIN to readily identify your firm and tax filings. All LLC firms in the USA pay a business privilege tax, and the state requires you to have an EIN to file. You may also be required to provide your EIN when opening a bank account or applying for municipal permits or licenses. Obtaining an EIN is a slightly longer process compared to their previous steps. I'm sure you know anything to do with the IRS is confusing. First, you must have complete knowledge of your LLC, such as your company information, managing member information, business address, business information, company details, and even critical information regarding vehicular assets and federal excise taxes. This is another reason why getting a professional registered agent is way more convenient, as they can do this for you as part of their service. Now, let's talk about the second option to form an LLC, and that is hiring a professional formation service. Professional formation services do all the steps you should be doing on your own from filing necessary forms to acting as your registered agent. You usually have to allocate a specific budget for this option. As I already mentioned earlier, Inkfile is one of the best companies out there to help you form your LLC. You can click on the link in the description to get access to this deal. Inkfile is one of a kind as it offers a free package with services such as preparing and filing your articles of organization. Well, you still have to pay $237 for the state fees, which you would have to do anyway if you chose the DIY option. But looking at the bigger picture, all other companies will still charge their service fee on top of state filing fees. Inkfile does not collect this fee. This plan already includes a free registered agent for your first year of subscription and $119 annually moving forward if you decide to continue the service after the first year. Inkfile's next packages are the gold and platinum packages which both have package fees, already on top of the $237 state fee. Each package has its own set of services which are all worthy of the subscription you are paying for. The gold package offers you the benefits of filing reports and taxes for your LLC. Every year, USA LLCs are required to file a state annual report. This report is essentially an information update of your file so that the state knows who is now in charge and how to contact your company. USA LLCs are also required to file state tax returns. To make matters even more complicated, your annual report and business privilege tax share a document and are due at the same time each year. With the Inkfile's gold package, you won't have to scribble notes of these reports because Inkfile will handle the whole process for you. Your platinum package also has these services in the bag with the unique addition of expedited filing, getting a domain name, and a business email which essentially increases your LLC's credibility. Inkfile also has an exclusive partnership with Bank of America so you can easily open an eligible checking account for your business. Yes, it is a must for your LLC to have a business account. Remember an LLC has limited liability, for it is a separate entity from its members. You may forfeit your liability protections if you combine your personal and business money, and this is where the term, piercing the corporate veil, comes into play. Piercing the corporate veil is an LLC jargon that refers to the court's action to hold you as the owner or member of an LLC, personally liable for the LLC's debts or actions. Now, if you have been sued by some lawyer who sees a crack in your LLC, they might resort to piercing the corporate veil in which you are in any position defeated. This is why opening a separate bank account for your LLC is so important. Do you like the level of detail I'm providing you in my review so far? If yes, then make sure to let me know by liking my video and hitting that subscribe button for more high-quality business content.